Hey YouTube, this is um, Robomats1 here, doing a DVD review on X-Men 2. Um, this is a very, very good continuation of where um, X-Men well, left up. Um, and it introduces a human factor, um, something that the first movie didn't really have. Um, it incorporates more of um, the human hostility towards um, mutants in the form of um, General Stryker. Um, William Stryker um, hates mutants, um, he's sort of like this scientist, um, who is declaring war on mutants by using mutants, um, he has this, um, like, sort of like suggestion potion that he uses on, um, Mutant's neck. Um, I have theorised that um, the pet the serum actually comes from um, Kayla from X Men Origins Wolverine, and that um, he injected it from the bone marrow and uses it on mutants. It's a possible theory that I have. The guy is extremely resourceful. Um, so the movie starts out with um, Nightcrawler attacking the president. Um, which sort of gives the, like, just that opening scene really gives, like, humans and mutants are against each other, you know, and there's that whole war aspect going on. Um... The movie then goes on to follow the Weapon X storyline, um, which follows Wolverine um, finding about about his past, as well as um, the other mutants from Charles Xavier's school all get kidnapped. Um, as part of um, William Stryker's plan to just destroy all mutants. The movie is just really good. Um, it's a good continuation, again, from where X-Men left off. Um, of course there are, um, issues with, um, with the movie, um, but other than that, um, the movie's pretty good. It also has a side story about um, the Phoenix, which sort of goes into X Men Three. The Phoenix, um, like Jean Grey's Phoenix storyline, is really, really impressively done. Like, it's gradual, 
and it builds from where X-Men left off. Like, from the very beginning to the very end, we see the progression of the Phoenix. And some argue that um, her power is a, like, second dream mutation. Um, others argue that um, it's a cosmic entity. Um, I'm not sure what the I'm not sure what the movie says about that. Um, but I like to think of it as it's a continuation of her power. Um, though in the comic it's a cosmic um, one. We also get a reference to the Fantastic Four character called um, Franklin Richards. And we get a lot of references to X-Men lore, which we see later down the road. Anyway, very good film. Um, go watch it if you haven't. Bye.